This video is in response to a comment from Judenfuss on my last video. He, she, or Z was saying that I was being a hypocrite. Let me read the comment. And yet you also complained about the people listening to rap music and celebrating a counterculture in that regard. You have the same bias like others that you cannot respect outside the box thinking people choose when it doesn't fit your taste, but you expect others to understand your approach when you cannot even do that yourself. Looks to me a little hypocritical, don't you think? But maybe you change in that regard too and don't judge them anymore like you did just a few months ago. Anyway, the liberty people choose to take means that they might endanger the status quo of a, soci of a society and many people are afraid of losing the running system. That is why people do not just fear the creative, but everybody who thinks, I'm assuming thinks differently, not things, like with the xenophobia regarding foreign cultures. So how far goes your accepted, so how far goes your acceptance of people with different views truly? Okay, let me let me break this this apart in different ways. Okay, the first part you said, and you also complained about the people listening to rap music and celebrating a counterculture in that regard. I have no problem with rap music that does not celebrate violence, misogyny, and homophobia. And any more, that would probably be the majority of rap music. I do have a problem with the type that does celebrate misogyny, homophobia, and violence. I don't think those things should be put up on a pedestal. Um, those things are not good for society. They are not thinking outside the box. They are actually going back to traditionalism and just trying to repackage it in some way. Um, it's also not creative. It's been done since the early 90s or even before then. It's probably it's really been done since around the late 80s as far as any sort of popular music. So it, 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 that that didn't make much sense, but I think you're trying to lump a lot of the things I've said in the past all together into one thing. You say you have the same bias like others that you cannot respect the the outside-the-box thinking people choose when it doesn't fit your taste. Um, this isn't just an issue of it not fitting my taste, it's an issue of it not be actually thinking outside the box. Machoism is not thinking outside the box, it's going back to traditionalism. But you expect others to understand your approach when you cannot even do that yourself? I do do this myself. Looks to me a little hypocritical, don't you think? No, it's not. If we were talking about people that are promoting uh, peaceful things, um, if we were talking about a, a counterculture that is promoting peaceful things, that'd be great. But this counterculture, which is part of a larger culture, but that larger culture does not really that that counterculture does not represent the larger culture it happens to fit into it just doesn't anyway the liberty people choose to take means that they might endanger the status quo of a society um <laughs> yeah the status quo of uh, to endanger the sta a peaceful status quo of society with machoism homophobia and misogyny uh, and violence and, and, and positive attitude towards being violent, uh, that's not a good thing. That might not be, you know, those things may not be the status quo of our society, but those aren't good things. It, it was actually the status quo of our society a long time ago, but we don't need to go back in time. We need to go forward. And many people are afraid of losing the running system. That is why people 
do not just fear the creative, but everybody who thinks differently. That you, you have some truth in what you're saying there, but you've framed it in such a way that it, it kind of destroys the validity of what you're saying, but I will give you credit in that area. You are right. People don't just fear the creative, but they fear anyone who thinks differently than them. That does happen. That is the case, and it's sad. Um, when I have a problem with something, I generally have... I should say I usually have specific reasons for it. They're usually rational and logical reasons. Have I been wrong about a lot of stuff in the past? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I'm hoping over these past few months that I have made some changes in myself. And you go, uh, and you continue what you were saying with what we're like with the xenophobia regarding foreign cultures. You're, you're right. You're right about that. Same, same thing. It's, you know, it's people being scared of, of anyone who th thinks differently. And when it comes to a Muslim culture that is living in this country, I have had irrational fears. And some people who are, who are watching this video may see that. They're not irrational. They are irrational. They are. The majority of people, the majority of Muslims in this country are very peaceful. You know, I, I can't count how many times that I've there has been a Muslim woman wearing, you know, the, I forgot what it's called, but it's just, just the head covering, right? And it's made of this really beautiful material. And I'll come up and say, that material is gorgeous. And I see them smile from ear to ear because they're so used to hearing things that are disparaging remarks about their head covering. So, you know, um, yeah, anyway, um, so, and you go, so how far goes your acceptance of people with different views truly? Depends on what the differences are. If it is something that is blatantly celebrating machoism, misogyny, homophobia, and violence, I'm not going to look positively on it. I will look positively on the larger culture that that subculture happens to fit into. But that, kind, that particular subculture that puts those things up on a pedestal? I mean... Um, you might as well be asking me to put the, the subculture of what is the name of that that time of kings right of kings uh what is that website called filled with a bunch of puas pick up artists misogynistic pieces of shit okay should i put them up on a pedestal because they are uh thinking outside the box even though it just has to do with more with traditionalism again should i put them up on a pedestal i don't, i think not God, I wish I could remember the name of that site. I guess it doesn't matter, though. People will know what I'm talking about.